Good day everybody, this is my first video for this channel and I'll be reviewing the McFarlane Series 4 Fire Dragon. First, let me explain why I wanted to do this. For the longest time, I've loved dragons. Since young, I've been trying to draw them, not always successfully. I've read lots and lots of dragon stories and gosh, I cannot believe that it's been 20 years since I first got into the Dragonlance series. That makes me feel really, really old. Um, having these dragons is a way to make my childhood fantasies real. They're right in front of me, and I got to say that you know it's one of the best things that I've got. I don't know. I've co I collect quite a few things, and really, I some some of them I like, some I ended up regretting. But this is something that I've never regretted ever. Unfortunately, I got into this pretty late, so that means I've had to buy some of these through ePay. I've paid high prices for some that were worth it, and I also managed to score a few bargains. So hopefully, you know, um, all of them would average around the $20 to $30 uh, mark. And surprisingly, I only got to know about them when I was hunting for a dragon for a dear friend of mine, CC. So it's thanks to you, CC, that I've well, I've gotten started on these, and um, I can blame you for the expenditure that I've um, I've made for these series. So I don't see many reviews on YouTube for this. I guess it's because they're effectively statues. They are not. In fact, there's there's no articulation to talk about. I I'll, I'll explain that statement in a little while. Uh, there is some, but I don't think it counts as articulation. So. I really like these guys at the back you'll see the entire series dragons and the one thing that I realized when I looked on the internet uh, to see what I've been missing is that it's a pretty good thing that out of all the series there will be some dragons you like some you don't so that saves me from the collect them all disease that well collectors tend to have so just looking at this, yep, Eternal Dragon, Komodo Dragon, maybe the Sorceress Dragon, but I don't like the Berserker Dragon, and hmm, the Water Dragon does look a little bit bloated. So yeah, I am very very excited. But coming back to the front, you can see that the wings are, well they look attached to me which is good, because some of you may know that the McFarlane series dragons have got one major gripe. And that major gripe is the wings of a come, often come unattached and some of them don't attach very well, if at all. So it's good that this guy is not going to present me many problems. And I'm not going to be reviewing my dragons in order because I don't have all of them, which like I said is a good thing. And also because I want this guy open right now! I want him hovering above eye level like a guardian dragon while I work. So let's get this guy open!